All right, so shotguns, sniper rifles, and creative blasphemy. What in the world does that mean? I don't know about you, but I'm an ultra creative. I'm somebody who gets like a good idea. In fact, I get 10 good ideas every second or two. I don't know if you can relate to that or if you're the same way, but have you ever been at a point in life where you have options and you just don't know which way to go? Maybe it's in business or maybe it's in life. You know, I've been, I've been uh, running into this lately because I've been, exp as we're expanding business and what I do, one of the big questions uh, I've been discussing with my wife and some business partners has been, do I do what I've always been known for? Do I continue in that, in that lane? Or can I jump lanes? Now, I don't want to jump too off brand into something else. I mean, let's face it, if, if Pennzoil started making breakfast syrup for your pancakes, you probably wouldn't buy their syrup because it's a motor oil company. That'd just be weird, okay? But I'm known for resilience. You're known for something else. You're also known for something, by the way. And if you're in business, you're known for whatever it is you do, or at least you should be. And so as a creative, if you're a creative, man, you have the same burden I do. I'll tell you, the most blasphemous thing you can ever say to a creative person is that they have to pick one project and go with it. That makes, like, you'll see people freak out. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. And that, it's funny because that's kind of where I'm at. I've been speaking for 10 years on resilience leadership, mainly on resilience. I do resilience training for the military all over the world. In fact, I'm heading out to Denver pretty soon uh, to do something there. Um, I've written books on resilience, never the same, redeployed. You can look those up if you want them. Um, I've done online programs, Take Back Your Life at takebackyourlife.me. That's an online resilience course that helps people move beyond the pain from their past. So that's what I've always been known for. But then I've got this other side, and this relates to you too, by the way. Because you've always done things a certain way, but as this world constantly changes, you have, to, you have to know whether or not you need to jump ship or not, or if you can do two things concurrently. Here's a good example. So I've been doing resilience training. I've written books on human resilience. I've done all this stuff on resilience. People know my story. I got blown up in Afghanistan and overcame that, all that stuff. Now, as I've built my speaking career, as I've written books, as I've traveled the world speaking, I've learned a ton about business. I've learned a ton about marketing. I've learned a turn, or blah, I said that wrong. That's how messed up I am. I've learned a ton about copywriting and how to communicate with people, public speaking, how to write a book, uh, being a, a problem solver. I mean, all these things. And you see the problem here? I could literally, I could, I could, I could go and any of those directions and just teach that thing for the rest of my life. Now, the thing is, most people have this kind of thing. Most people are pretty good at a few things. And some of us have, have probably five or 10 things that we can actually be, we could actually move forward with as a hobby or career and be known for that thing. But what do you do when you just, you don't know which direction to go? I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to give you a couple answers, a couple of solutions in this uh, video. But there is far more that I could cover that there is just not time to do. So my dilemma is this. Like I said, I've created online programs. Like I'll just list it to you. I got a list right here. You like that? See, people with me who have a traumatic brain injury often forget things. And so a lot of people just say, well, I'm not going to become a public speaker because I can't remember stuff well. What if I mess up? Nobody cares if you mess up. You know, I take notes I'm up on the podium because not because I'm embarrassed to try it without, but because there's important stuff I want to tell people and I don't want to forget it. So I've had to adapt that thing. All right. So anyways, that's called a rabbit trail in public speaking, by the way. Not sure what, how that relates to anything, but I have four or five programs right now. And one that's in the works that I'm actually, I've already built and I haven't launched it yet. So of the programs, the online programs or coaching courses I've created, I have user story at useyourstory.com which helps people uh, make a difference in an income, sharing their story as public speakers, doing what I do. All right, it's an online course. There's takebackyourlife.me, Take Back Your Life. Again, like I said, it shows people, it's a resilience course. It's the same resilience training that the military hires me to come give combat veterans after they come home from war and their families. I deliver it to them. Well, now through that, I show people how to act. I teach them what those things are and then how to practically write it down and apply it in their daily life every day so they can win the battles that matter most. All right, so I have that program that's online. I have uh, speakingmadesimple.com. 
Speaking Made Simple is a free video series and it teaches you a bunch of things like uh, six fast ways to overcome the, uh, the fear of public speaking and how to get booked to speak and what topics to speak on that get paid and uh, what people pay for, what topics people pay for. Um, it, there's videos on, uh, let's see, of the, the, like the six or eight like most popular places that pay people to speak. So like if you want to speak, you need to go get around people who have the money where they are and speak on a topic that they want to give money to. All right, so that's all in that, in that course. And that's actually a free course. It doesn't cost you a nickel at speakingmadesimple.com. And now I have one. And, um, you know, it's, it's kind of about blowing up your business. It's about helping businesses clarify their values so that more customers connect and engage with them. One of the biggest reasons people in business have trouble uh, getting more customers and making it financially is because they're just not clear on what it is they offer. They're not clear on the value that they're giving to people. Whether you're an author, a speaker, or what they call a solopreneur, you're all by yourself, whether you're in a giant corporation, whether you're a life coach, whether you have a brick and mortar business, it doesn't matter. How we communicate, how most people communicate is not very clear. In fact, if you don't believe me, just go ask somebody, meet somebody at like a networking meeting or a social thing and just ask them, say, so, Hi, I'm Brian, what's your name? What do you do? Watch them stumble. You're 99 and a half, yeah, that's right. 99 and a half out of, a, out of 100 people are gonna stumble over their words. They're gonna give you like a three, five minute explanation. They just lost a sale. Because they don't know how to say what they do. Well, this new program, this new venture I have uh, that I'm, I'm gonna be putting out, it teaches them very simply a simple process. I'll walk them through or they write, they just fill in the blanks and it teaches these business owners and these people who are in business how to communicate their value in a clear and compelling way so that when an ideal prospect walks up and they say, hey, my name's so-and-so, what do you do? They say what they do and the people go, wow, I really need that, let's talk. Now they're not giving up the sale. So here's the whole dilemma. And look, at this isn't a teaching video. This is like a journey video. This is like documenting my journey and I hope somehow you can get something out of it. Because this is something I, very real that I deal with. It's like I said the other day to my wife, I said I'm, I'm an ultra creative and I have no idea which way to go. Because there's so many ways I can go, all right? And so some of you aren't so much like that, but a lot of you are, all right? If you're an artist or you're a writer, a creative, you have this battle. And one of the things I talked to my wife about, I said, well, two things we concluded was, um, <clears throat> should I go on what I'm previously known for or should I go to where the money is? Now, it's not that there's not money in what I've been previously known for. Obviously, I've been doing this for about a decade. Um, but by, by what, I, what I mean by should I go where the money is with this business program, it's very, very clear to me now, to other people, it might be clear for the other side too. But with a business program, it's very, very clear to me who I'm going after, what they want and the troubles they have, what the outcomes they're looking to get, the value I offer to them that helps them get what they want. I have a process for that. And it works every freaking time. All right. I mean, I helped a guy last year. Uh, he's, a, he's a painter. He increased his income by like over $98,000 in the first 12 months just because I walked him through the process. Another kid was in college and he wanted to speak in colleges more. And so, hey baby, how are you? This is my daughter, Kaylee. And uh, so he was speaking in colleges, making $3,500 to $5,000 a talk. Just go around speaking in colleges, talking to college students about you know how to overcome stuff and deal with college life and make good choices. And so it's all the same process. And so my point here is this, I, number one, I knew it worked for me. Now I know it works for other people because I've helped a lot more people than that. But it's sort of like, which way should I go in life? Do you keep going with what you've always done? That's not always a bad thing. But then there's also, do you jump ship onto this new thing? Because we live in a constantly changing world. I mean, some, some people are going out of business and they're losing their jobs because they're just not relevant anymore. I mean, you know, if, if you're trying to market your business on MySpace, uh, at least at this time in history, you're probably not in business, all right? Or, you know, just, I mean, there's all kinds of, because that was just years ago. It's old. I mean, you're a dinosaur in certain places if you do that. So my point is this. 
Should you, again, I'm a creative, I'm all over the place right now, and this isn't scripted by the way, I'm just talking off the cuff. And uh, should, you, should you shotgun blast? I mean, so many people are shotgun blasting the market, like, this, I do everything, I do this and this and this and this. Or should you sniper fire? You know, in Afghanistan, when I was fighting the war over there uh, years back, you know, the, uh, the Taliban had this tactic that we always referred to as spray and pray. They'd reach over a wall with their AK-47, put their head behind it, and they'd just squeeze the trigger down, just spray in your direction, hoping and praying they hit something. But all that ever took was one welling shot by an American soldier to take him out. He wasted a bunch of rounds. We only used one, and it was not wasted. It was well-placed, all right? So my point there is in your life, in your business, are you shotgun blasting things and hoping you hit the target? Are you shotgun blasting uh, the marketplace hoping you'll somehow hit people uh, with your message and that they'll get it and that they're the right people? Or is it calculated sniper fire? Are you aiming in? Are you honing in on it? Because again, that's what my business process helps people do. In fact, if you wanna learn more about that, if you're a veteran, Right now, I only have it for veterans, uh, veteran-owned businesses, but we're opening it up uh, in a different way uh, to the civilian population as well. You can go to veteranbusinesssuccess.com, veteranbusinesssuccess.com, and you can learn more about it there. It's just some free information there. There's nothing for sale at this point. Um, but what do you do? Do you stay with what you've always done and what you're known for? Or do you jump ship and go in this new direction? What do you think? I want you to leave a comment. Let me know. That's the question. Do you go with what you've always done and stay with that? Or do you think you should jump ship in a new direction? Because me, I'm going in several. Um, uh, can we get a link in the comments, Mark asked. Uh, yes, I can um, when the video is over with. Or you can just go to veteranbusinesssuccess.com and it's there too. But I will, we will put one in there. But should you jump ship to the new thing? Because after all, we live in a changing world constantly. You have to change. You have to adapt. All right, and you have to change your methods sometimes. And uh, the important thing is that, you know, the message doesn't change. My message has never changed. My message has always been resilience. And it, was, it started off as personal resilience, overcoming personal tragedy, moving beyond the things that have hurt you, whether it was an abuse or, or um, you lost a loved one or some sort of pain or you went through a war experience like I did. But the interesting thing is that those same resilience principles, they carry over into the business world. There's a reason the, mo the world's most resilient leaders win. There's a way they do that, and that's what I teach. So it really has come down to, I, I've actually, I'm considering a rebrand of not just for veterans or just resilience, but really just resilience in life and business, because that's what I teach. And the thing is, nobody really wants to be resilient. Let's just be real. Being resilient sucks. It means you're holding out for something. It means you're like dealing with something. But there's certain things the world's most resilient people do to help them overcome personal tragedy, and those things also help you win in life and business. And so, tell me your thoughts. Do you think I should stick with uh, only the resilience thing, or should I also branch it out and offer it to the business world? I'd love to hear your feedback. Cassie, uh, Cassandra says, seems I'm building a spider web from a central hub. Yes, yeah, it just goes every which way. And the, the, the thing to be careful with with that is that you can go, you can go like 1% in 100 directions and be completely ineffective, whether it's in your family life or your business or your job. It, and that's the thing with me. In my mind, I like to focus 100% of my efforts in one direction and just destroy that thing. Like in, like in the original Star Wars, when Luke fires that laser out of his spaceship right into the Death Star, right in that little, you know, quarter inch hole, you know, that can destroy the whole thing, funny as that is. You know, he shoots it straight into there like sniper fire, blows the whole thing up, accomplish the mission. That's the kind of mindset that I generally have myself, but, you know, it doesn't mean you can't go in two or three directions. So, again, leave a comment, let me know. Um, thank goodness, like you, they're still, con yeah, they still connect. <laughs> and uh, sometimes this, the whole spider wave you're talking about is blown to pieces. Kind of like the Death Star did. And then you gotta, you gotta gather the pieces and figure out what to do because sometimes life is just blowing up all around you. So do you think you should stay going in the resilience direction? Or do you think I should? I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, you know, I'm definitely gonna make a smart decision about it and consult my advisors and mentors with it. But do you think we should, it should stay in the resilience uh, corridor? Or do you think it should go uh, into the business world? 
because I, I've already kind of I've already kind of uh, dabbled in the business world a bit with this, and it's worked really well. It's just a kind of a new way of doing and teaching the the foundation of what I already teach. So thank you. Leave a comment, and by the way, let me know if um, let me know if you. Um, if you're dealing with something in your life, if you have a question, maybe you've, you're creative like me or whatever the case, and you're going in way too many directions, and uh, the ultimate distraction. Yeah, creative people are often distracted very easily too, especially by beautiful little girls named Kaylee. That's me. So, that's you. So, leave a comment, let me know if, whatever, I already asked the question, I don't even, I don't even remember what it was. So, leave a comment, leave your feedback, love to hear your feedback, and also how I can help you do better in life and business. Leave a comment, and I will do my best to answer them. Bye! Oh, bye.